Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another luxury haul. This video is sponsored by Farfetch. Farfetch is a brand I have shopped for organically with my own money for so many years. So I'm really excited to be partnering with them on this video. If you're unfamiliar with Farfetch, they have an extensive network of boutiques, so they carry a wide range of different designers such as Jimmy Choo, Golden Goose, Balenciaga, Beaumont, Givenchy, and many more. I literally love Farfetch and I have shopped there myself for years with my own money, so I definitely highly recommend that you check out that website if you have not already. So the first thing that I received from Farfetch are these Manolo heels from the brand Manolo Blahnik. I do not own anything from this brand, but I have been dying to try out like a pair of heels. I'm just atrocious when I walk in heels, so that's why I kind of tend to opt for lower heels. It was a little bit difficult sometimes for me to find heels that work for me because I cannot walk in them very well. These ones though have a really good heel height, so they also have a back strap which I'll show in a moment. So these ones are very suitable for me. So these heels come in their own dust bags, which I really appreciate. I think we've gone over this. I'm obsessed with dust bags with shoes. Um, or bags, so I tend to just gravitate towards shoes and bags that come with dust bags, which most do if it's better quality of product, it'll likely come with a dust bag. Um, I just prefer dust bags because they're very travel friendly, so you can pack shoes and bags together and they're not rubbing against each other or being damaged in the process of you traveling, so I really like the dust bag aspect. This one I have not unboxed, but I have already taken a little peek at this heel. So each heel comes in its own dust bag, which is uh, an even larger plus for me because sometimes shoes will only come in one dust bag so then the two shoes will kind of rub against each other sometimes so I really like how they're separate dust bags as well and they're gorgeous I've already looked at these so I had already unboxed this one prior to filming this video so that's why the tissue paper is removed from this embellishment on the heel I really liked how it came with tissue paper wrapped around this as well just for extra protection during shipment and I also really like again it's a lower heel so it's more suitable for someone like me that has trouble walking in heels. I also really like the material you can definitely tell it's very like high-end and I also opted for these in a 39 and a half. Um, they have a size chart on their website which is very helpful when looking for sizes because for me my size varies depending on the brand so I kind of look at what size I am in other brands and since I have already shopped there it does give me a size of what my recommended size would be based on my other purchases which is also really nice. I also wanted to add that this little slip came inside of the issue box as well and it just says that Manolo's shoes and accessories are crafted by hand which is really nice so you know the quality is really there. So these are the heels. I also really like this back strap and it has a little detailing at the end of the strap which is comfortable and it kind of provides a little bit of a stretch. And here are the embellishments. I will include clips that show these heels a little bit better. On the sole of the heels, it also says handmade in Italy. I love products that are made in Italy or made in France, made in Spain, but I really like that these were made in Italy and the fact that they are handmade as well. I'm obsessed with these embellishments. They're also very comfortable, so if you are someone that has trouble walking in heels like myself, I would definitely check these shoes out. Next item is this Pareo from the brand Camila. I have yet to try anything from that brand, but I did order some other things from this brand that have not arrived yet, so I'll show those in my next haul. Um, I'm just obsessed with their uh, prints that they do on their apparel. Um, they carry a lot of like luxury resort wear and I'm someone that travels a lot. I have also just been in general trying to broaden my like resort wear or just hot weather types of apparel because I will be moving later on this year to somewhere that's very hot all year round I'm pretty sure so I definitely need to have more apparel that fits that weather. I also really like how you can wear this as a sarong slash pareo so over your swimsuit as like a little skirt tie skirt moment. Or you could wear this as a dress. I will include some clips of how I wear this as a dress. Basically just tied around your neck for a little halter moment. And so I like the versatileness of this because it kind of is a little two for one. So it saves space in your suitcase if you're taking this somewhere for like resort wear or if you just in general want a product that has a versatile aspect. So I really like this and also for the price, the quality is definitely there. I really like this design as well. Um, it's very unique. I love all of Camila's designs and Farfetch carries a lot of variety of different Camila products that are very unique. Um, I will see like other websites that carry Camila, but they don't have as many products as Farfetch carries from Camila, so I really like this. Next item I'm really excited about, this is a swim cover-up from Zimmerman, and I haven't really seen anything like this before, at least from like a designer brand, I have not yet to see anything like this. It's basically like a towel material swim cover-up, and it's a little dress, it also has a hood. I'm going to get so much use out of this. Um, I kind of have two different looks that I go for whenever I do go to the beach or the pool. There's kind of the look of you're just kind of 
dipping your toes in the water and just drinking a pina colada and you're not actually like getting your hair wet or anything in that case i would opt for like the camila pareo sarong moment and kind of just like a jewelry it's more of a fashion vibe i guess as opposed to actually getting the water if i'm actually getting the water and getting my hair wet and everything i don't want to then put on my nice pareo and get it all wet with ocean water and things like that so i really like this because normally what i would do is i would bring like a heavier sweatshirt or something which then isn't that cute in that case so i really like this because i'm always usually like cold when i get out of the water um if i'm on vacation i go in the ocean or something so i really like this i also love it as a hood because my hair will be crazy if i get it wet in the ocean or the pool so i really like how it has a hood as well and i love the towel material because you're not going to ruin the product and it's going to absorb the water and then you just wash it and it's also stylish a lot more stylish than a hoodie so i'm really obsessed with this product also has pockets i'm obsessed with pockets i need to have pockets for like my phones and things like that so i just love this product i really liked this find um and farfetch carries a variety of different zimmerman products so definitely check out zimmerman products on farfetch's website or their app they also have an app as well i actually prefer their app it's just easier to go through everything because they carry a lot of products they carry a very wide range of products so it can be a lot and a little overwhelming if you're on their website if you go on their app it's actually a lot easier to go through things and you can also favorite things so there's a little star that you can favorite things and then it goes into your wish list section that's typically what i will do and then i'll go through my wish list section and kind of weed out what i want to actually purchase i also wanted to add that this pareo came in tissue paper so everything is packaged really nicely when you receive it and it also came the zimmerman cover-up and the camila sarong slash pareo they both came inside of little black dust bags which i also really like i'm obsessed with my dust bags these are just a necessity for travel so i really like that they came in dust bags as well I also have a 10 percent discount code for you guys that i will have on the screen to receive 10 percent off your purchase on farfetch whether it's their website or their app you can receive 10 percent off using that code that's it for the farfetch portion of this video I, again i will have the 10 percent off code on the screen for you guys make sure you use that check out if you guys are purchasing anything from farfetch i highly recommend their website their app just them overall the company i have literally been obsessed with farfetch for years and i have shopped there organically myself for many years as well so i definitely highly recommend that you guys check farfetch out if you have not already they have a lot of different products so definitely check them out and download the app because it is a lot easier to maneuver around the wide range of designers that they carry and all the products a lot easier on the app so definitely download the app so yeah on to the next item of this haul next are two bags from longchamp i will be including photos of these bags because they expand to be pretty large and basically the vibe is that you put a scarf on the interior and then you tie it on the handles and the bag expands quite a bit so i'll insert some photos of the models doing that because that's kind of how they showcase the bag was to insert a scarf inside of it no scarves come with it but so you would purchase the scarf separately i already have some scarves in mind that i want to use so this does expand to be a pretty large size i opted for the colors black and white um i'm not sure if this was considered white or cream but these two colors i don't even remember what i was saying my dog started barking very obnoxiously so there's a slight little interruption um but they do carry other colors in these bags i just opted for neutral colors because i felt like they would match best with things and i do plan to use these for travel or again when i move to a warmer area i just thought these would be really cute they're also very reasonably priced around a hundred dollars each um farfetch does carry these bags so if you were making a purchase on there already definitely check out these bags because they do carry them i don't think i purchased these through farfetch but they do carry them so just letting you guys know and yeah so i really like these i also love how it has a top handle and it also has a shoulder strap i just thought these were also a really good deal for the price so yeah definitely check these bags out next item is very heavy um it is a hybrid cabin s suitcase from ramoa i do not own anything from ramoa i have thought of owning things from ramoa for a few years now um i was really close to purchasing some things when i was in hawaii once um, we just walked past Ramoa's shop and you know, I was still going to buy things but then I was like okay we already have our suitcases here so it didn't really make sense for how to then get the new suitcases back home so then I just forgot about it and so I got this one now I think they are now sold out of this on their website but I'm sure they'll have like restock alerts or something like that if you guys were interested in this particular suitcase I have not put her to use yet obviously it's still new so I am excited to put her to use for my next little travels. This is a little bit difficult to show on camera, so I may need to insert other clips or photos from online to showcase this suitcase a little bit better. I'm sure everyone has heard of Ramoa um, suitcases, so I was curious to get in on the hype because I have heard a lot of things about these suitcases and 
I have like Hayes luggage at the moment prior to purchasing this so I just thought okay let's get a carry-on test it out first and then if I like it then I'll get the trunk for travel for like check-in so this one's a carry-on um, so I'm just testing out the brand first I guess with this and then if I like this then I'll get the trunk as well um, so yeah I really like this it's definitely high quality um, Ramoa is very known for their quality it's definitely there so I'm curious to see how this holds up because I am pretty rough on my suitcases and I do travel a lot so um, I'm curious how this holds up obviously a carry-on is going to in general hold up better than a checked bag where it's being thrown onto the little carousel thing or whatever um, so I'm curious I'll let you guys know how I end up liking this next is the Melier London I really hope I am pronouncing this correctly this was sent to me but I have seen these products on Farfetch and they are definitely really good quality I've already unboxed this I think I took a photo of it and posted that on my story so you guys likely already saw this on there so I'll do a little unboxing I really liked how shipping it um, I'm not sure if they do this for people that order if this was just because it was sent to me but it came in a shopping bag so I really liked that aspect so you kind of get the in-person shopping experience even though there wasn't an in-person shopping experience and the bag comes in a dust bag of course which I love dust bags and the bag of course comes in a dust bag which I appreciate these are very more like more so reasonable priced bags for the quality like the quality is really there I think this bag retails for $5.75 or something this is a bag you would normally see like Louis Vuitton or a brand like that being sold for two to three thousand four thousand maybe um, so I really appreciate the reasonable prices as well if you are someone that watches my videos and you either just don't really have the budget to purchase a more expensive bag or you just want an everyday bag that you don't have to worry about damaging as much I would definitely check out this brand they have a bunch of different bags on their website this one was my favorite and I do plan to use this for every day I really like how there's a top handle and a shoulder strap I just like having different options for how to carry things because depending on where I'm going is contingent on which way I opt to carry a bag um, it also came with uh, the protection little stickers on this, I just removed them. Um, and I really like the way it opens too, so you push down here and then it pops up. It's kind of similar to the Saint Laurent bag I shared in a prior haul, so I really liked that. This one's just a little bit easier to open. Um, and it's very roomy, you can definitely fit quite a bit of things in here. So it also has a little zipper and two little pouches on the side. So I really like this bag. and. The quality is definitely there, like you know when you receive something and you purchase whatever and you can just smell the quality, this is one of those things. So I really recommend you guys check out this brand, they have a bunch of different bags to choose from and they're all very reasonably priced. So I wanted to show how this bag fits on. Um, I am 5'7", I weigh 117 pounds and um, this is how this fits on me. They have a variety of different sizes in this. Uh, I think mine is just the regular size but they also had a Nano and they also had a Maxi so the Maxi would be really nice for travel. And the Nano would be nice if you wanted just a smaller bag in general. I like this size for every day. I also really like the gold hardware. It's very minimalistic, which was something I was in need of because a lot of my bags are not so minimalistic. So I really like this. It's just plain black. They also have other colors in this bag as well. And here's carrying it as a top handle. And just in case the black cardigan I'm wearing is kind of messing with the appearance of the bag with this size I'll carry it out here so yeah I really like this very reasonably priced and I probably would carry it like this for every day or a crossbody next are these Givenchy boots that I'm very stuck on I have seen these boots everywhere if you when I show them you guys will know what I'm talking about they're black boots um, the ones that I've seen everywhere the black with the just like black Chelsea boots with the little pink soles, I've seen those everywhere. I've seen many people have those boots as their like everyday running around town boots. I want to know how because they're not very comfortable. I want to like them, but they're just so uncomfortable. I don't understand how everyone is using these boots as their everyday boots because they are not comfortable. And I'm not even someone that's very picky with shoes being comfortable unless it's a heel. So I'm just iffy about these so let me know in the comments if you guys think I should keep these or not is this something where you have to like break them in because they are not very comfortable so um they come in this box the usual lots of tissue paper um so I've tried these on obviously and they're just not comfortable these are the boots I'm sure everyone has seen these everywhere um I know I have 
the ones that I've seen everywhere personally are the ones that have the pink sole. Um, and I've seen so many like influencer girls even using those boots as their everyday walking around like New York City or walking around Paris boots. I want to know how because it's not comfortable. The problem is this is such a like hard material that right here hurts when you walk. So when your foot goes to like bend like this as you're walking, it hurts right here. It's not anything crazily painful, but it's something that I think would become quite bothersome if you're wearing these for several hours. I just didn't like that aspect. There's also no zipper. I knew there was no zipper. But my favorite Chelsea boots that I have that are too worn out to wear anymore also didn't have a zipper and there was no problem with those. It just had the same thing this has, which is just like you slip your shoe or your, your foot in. And it has this that kind of helps to assist you with that. But it's just they're not very comfortable. So I don't know what I'm doing with these. These have been, I've had these for like two weeks now and I, I don't know what I'm doing with them. Let me know in the comments if anyone's aware if these will, you know, mold to your feet and they'll be comfortable if you just break them in. Um, let me know because I'm a little wishy-washy on these. These are in, what size are these in? I got these in a 39. Um, I think I also, because I ordered two of these, I think I also had the other ones were in a 39 and a half and it wasn't the size that was the problem. It's literally the boot that's the problem. So I don't know what to do about these. Let me know in the comments if anyone has any experience with these boots or an opinion regarding them. So yeah, next item. Next are two chemises. One is from Notori and the other is from Stella McCartney. This is the Stella McCartney one. It's just a little black chemise. Um, and it has little like leopards or cheetahs on it, something like that. Or no, it's little horses. I don't know, you can't really tell the difference these days. Um, so I opted for a size small, and it's just for bedtime, a little night dress moment. And I also really like how it has adjustable straps, um, so you can adjust those to your liking. So yeah, this is just a little sleepwear moment, um, a little aesthetic sleepwear moment, and then this is the one from Notori, um, and it's like a little light tealish blue color, and it has a little lace at the top and at the bottom as well on the sides. This is also in a size small. Yeah, it's size small. Where is this made? Made in Philippines. It's interesting. So yeah, those are the two chemises. Um, and I also got this little cardigan from Notori that to wear like over probably over the black chemise because it doesn't really go with the blue one. Um, and it's just like a little fuzzy loungewear cardigan. And this reminds me, um, comfort-wise, of the brand Barefoot Dreams, I think is what it's called. They have like really comfy little loungewear cardigans, so if you are familiar with that brand, this feels very similar. I would just say this one feels a little bit thicker than those ones. So yeah, I really like this. Next are two things from this brand called La Rude, I think is how you pronounce it. It's either La Rude or La Rude. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but they have a bunch of different really cute items. They also had very cute like Valentine's Day kind of items. I'm not sure that this video is going live before Valentine's Day, but just they have a lot of cute little like heart-shaped bags and stuff. Um, so these were sent to me. It's a pair of heels and then a bag. So the first thing are these metallic heels. So I got these in a size 9. It says that these are handmade in Brazil. I love when things are handmade in other countries. Um, so yeah, these are very pretty metallic silver. And then the straps of the front have very pretty metallic, like gold, pink, and silver um, colors. So, also a bag that kind of matches with the shoes. So it's this little lavender bag. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit. Um, obviously not the same, but it reminds me a little bit of. I think it's Chanel's next collection that will be released next month, and I'm trying to buy this bag um, whenever they allow pre-ordering. I definitely want to buy the Chanel one. But lavender bags are going to be a thing, so definitely get a lavender bag. I really like the heart detailing or hardware on the sides. And it's a very pretty like satin material with a zipper. The interior is a pink shade. And so yeah, I really like this. I love a little gold chain as well. And these shoes and bag also came in dust bags. So I just wanted to add that because we know how I am with my dust bags. Um, so the shoes came in the box and then with the dust bag and then the bag came inside of a dust bag. So... Definitely check that brand out. Next are a pair of boots from Clergerie Paris. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You know how I am with brands that have Paris in the name. I just automatically love them even more. I think Farfetch carries this brand as well. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they do. Don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure, but I just think I've seen this brand on their website. 
So these are the boots. They also have these in a tan color as well, and they have a variety of different shoes on their website. I think they carry bags, maybe too. Um, don't quote me on that either, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, so these are the boots. They come with this silk uh, Japanese scarf. I think this is made in Japan. It's 100% silk, so I really liked how the boots, which themselves are very good quality, um, also come with this scarf detailing. It's very unique. Um, I love how it comes on the boot, and then you could also have the option of removing this scarf if you wanted to use it for something else. I really like these. I love how it is a plain black leather. I'm assuming leather because the quality feels really amazing. And then I love just the vibrancy shades of the Japanese scarf that go with the boots. Very unique. I'm obsessed with these. I will definitely be wearing these a lot. Um, I also like just the packaging in general. It's very nice. And they do come with their own dust bags. So they come with two separate dust bags for each shoe. So there's two of them. I always like that even more as opposed to just one dust bag because I like having each boot or heel or whatever the shoe may be separate from one another. Here's a close-up of the scarf. It's so pretty. These are made in France and I opted for a 39 and a half just based off of the sizing. Um, normally I would go for a 40 but um, based off the sizing I figured I'd be a 39 and a half and these do fit very nicely. So um, yeah, definitely check out this brand. It also says made in France which I really like. I love France. Um, I'd say Made in France is definitely my number one favorite, and then second would be Made in Italy, and then, you know, just Made in anywhere but the US I love, so definitely check this brand out. I love these boots, and they have them in tan. They also have just a variety of different shoes. The rest of what I will be sharing are beauty products, so like cosmetics, perfume, things like that. I think I only have one perfume to share. It's this one from Tom Ford. So Tom Ford um, released a whole collection of like I, I totally could be wrong. I saw the email. I don't remember exactly what it said. I think it was like all mafi. Let me just pull it up so that way we're not speaking incorrect information. Um, it was an intriguing email and it's what made me want this perfume. Um, it wasn't at all PR or anything. Um, it was just their, their like subscription email or whatever whenever you purchase from their website. Um, yeah, it's okay. So it's called the Private Rose Garden Collection. So they had just a variety of different perfumes in this collection. They also had a Discovery Trio, so that one would be very budget friendly if you wanted to opt for that. Um, the few shades that they have that are new are Rose D'Amalfi, which is the one that I have, and Rose de Chine, no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Rose de Rusi. Um, so I went with this one, which says it's an intimate, discreetly sensual rose kiss by Italian bargamot i don't know how to pronounce that word um so yeah this is the one i went with um i really like how it has damalfi so like amalfi coast i need to go there um i was supposed to go there actually um next month and then my friend couldn't go so i might still go and just go with other people i'm not sure yet but i just removed the little clear packaging wrapper i really like how this comes in the package um and I have not smelled it yet, so we'll be smelling it together, but I love how the presentation of this. And I love the bottle, the black, with just the clear, and it's just like a little light lavenderish color. I really like it. Okay, let's smell it. Um, I need to spray it on something. I'm going to spray it on the Demelier card. Um, okay, let's spray. I feel like I'm not cut out for a perfume test. This is like Charles Gross behavior. Um, I love Charles Gross, but this is definitely something that he would be a professional at. I'm not, so I feel like I'm doing a Charles Gross pretty right now. It's like a fresh rose scent. I have other rose scent perfumes. I'm obsessed with anything rose, but this one has like a fresh garden smell. Like I literally feel like I'm walking in like a garden, like a Japanese garden or something with just like a bunch of pink roses around me. I actively feel like I'm walking in a Japanese garden. This is not sponsored. I, this was not even sent to me. I just really like this. Okay, that is my new everyday go-to. Oh my gosh, okay. I actually want to get the Discovery Trio now because I want to travel size one. Um, I love that. Oh my gosh. I want to keep smelling it. This smells so good. I love like fresh scented perfumes. One of my favorites, but they discontinued it was Marc Jacobs Cucumber. That one is a really nice fresh perfume, but they discontinued it. I only have like a tiniest amount left that I'm preserving. Um, and I've yet to find a replacement. This is my new replacement. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, definitely go get that perfume. That perfume smells absolutely amazing. And I have a bunch of perfumes. I'm literally obsessed with that scent. So 
I'm so excited. I have a new everyday perfume. Okay. Anyways, next items are from Caudalie. So um, these were sent to me. This is their new premium premier crew collection so i have their la cream which is just a moisturizer and um, these are all for anti-aging so they target eight signs of aging with these products so we have the moisturizer and moisturizer refill and then i have the eye cream and the serum so i'm excited to try these out i will let you guys know how i end up liking these i love caudalie um, it also has the word paris in the brand name which we know i love anything that says paris in it so I'm excited about those. Next is something from Laura Mercier. This did come in PR. Um, so it's basically a large version of their translucent setting powder, which I really like. I'm obsessed with this powder. This is one of the few ones that does not make me cakey. So this is their anniversary edition. I posted this in my story, which you guys probably already saw. And then the main reason why I wanted to share this is because it came with this 2022 agenda. I was literally just looking at agendas and I could not find any that I loved. I looked at multiple different websites trying to find an agenda. I wanted a nice one that was good quality that had, um, I had a, a thing where I wanted to show the calendar and then I also wanted to show days so I have room to write out like bigger events on the actual calendar that shows all the days in one. I'll show you guys what I'm referring to. Um, so it shows the full calendar um, and then it also has a note section so this would be for like bigger events or things like that, plans that I have and then I really liked how it also had this aspect where you can then write for each day things that you have to do that maybe are smaller things that you don't necessarily need to have on the actual calendar part. And I was literally trying to find an agenda that had this. Um, I did find a few that had that option of the calendar showing the full calendar and then the days, but then it wouldn't be really aesthetically pleasing. Um, so I ended up not purchasing one because I couldn't find one I liked. So when I received this, I was so excited. Um, I hope that they sell this on their website. If they do, I will link it. If not, um, so sorry for even teasing you with showing this, but I love this and the pages are all very good quality, it's like a thick paper um, and I just love how it's very minimalistic um, and fashionable. My dog is barking again. The vibe is to carry this outside of your bag. Obviously this isn't going to fit in most bags and if it does fit it's going to be making your handbag quite heavy so the bag or <laughs> the vibe, not the bag, the vibe is to carry this like this and then my bag crossbody, shoulder or like this however I want to carry whichever bag I guess I'm carrying and then you carry the agenda like this. That's the vibe. Um, so I've been literally looking for something like this and I couldn't find what I was picturing in my mind. So I was so excited by this. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I'm so obsessed with it. I cannot wait to start writing everything in it. So yeah, really like this. I really hope that you guys can purchase this. Last thing to share with you guys are some things from Givenchy Beauty. So these were sent to me, but I'm obsessed with this brand. This is something that I have purchased from prior to being on their pair list. Um, so the first two things are from their New Year's collection. To me, this is almost like a Valentine's Day collection because of the little hearts. Um, I'm obsessed with this packaging. I've already removed it from the boxes and everything because I have them on display on my little vanity at the moment. Um, it's just their Prisme Lisme. Uh, I have no idea if I remember. Prisme Libre powder. Um, and I love this powder itself. And then it's just basically the New Year's packaging. I just love these little hearts. And it's very good quality, like a little leather material. And then this lipsticks in the shade 37 Rouge. Grane, I think is how you pronounce it. So I really liked these and then I have some other products from them as well. So these are the things from Givenchy Beauty. First thing is a lip liner. I am wearing this today so I have already removed the lip liner. It also comes with a lip um, pencil sharpener as well which I really like. And this is in the shade 02 Brune Creator. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I really like this. It's definitely my new everyday go-to lip liner. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice shade. Again, I'm wearing it today. Side note, I can still smell the Tom Ford perfume. I didn't even apply it on me. I can just smell it just from this, like, sitting over here in my vanity. It smells so good. Um, so the smell is definitely lasting and it kind of expands. I have no idea how to describe perfume. This is Charles Gros' assignment and I'm not doing it correctly. Um, anyways, back to Givenchy. Um, so next is their Cole... Couture Waterproof 01 Black Eyeliner, and I have not unboxed this yet. So it's just this little black eyeliner, and I like how it's retractable. I love eyeliners that are retractable. I just don't like having to sharpen things. Obviously lip pencils, I have noticed that the best lip pencils tend to be those that you have to sharpen, but I don't want to then also have to sharpen an eyeliner, because then you would have to carry two separate sharpeners in that case, given you can't really use the same sharpener for your lip liner 
and a black eyeliner so i really like how this is retractable next is this travel size of their prisme libre um powder in the shade mousseline pastel 01 and i love travel size travel friendly products this is right up my alley it's so cute so when you open it the top has this little powder puff for the powder and then once i remove this protector um, the powder will disperse out of these little holes here and then you use this to dip inside so i really like that um, and i love how it's travel size i also just in general like like rose lavender those kinds of colors for um, powders because i tend to use powders more so for under my eyes and i like for it to have be kind of like a pastel shade it tends to just kind of give your face a little bit more of a lift. Next is this makeup blender. So this is for fluid and compact foundation. So it is a sponge. I have not unboxed this yet. Um, I really like this. I love how it's pointy so you can actually really like get inside of little crevices in your face when you're doing concealer or foundation. Um, yeah, this is a very unique sponge. I really like this. So I will have to try her out. Next are three lipsticks. One is in the shade 37 Rouge. Renee, I already have, I think, a few of these, actually. Um, it is one of my favorite shades. And then 10 Beige Nude. I have not tried this one yet. And then in 501 Copper Nude, which I think I already have as well. And then another one of their Prisme Libre Highlighters. This is a limited edition. Um, this is one of my favorite highlighters at the moment because I do already have this highlighter. Um, I think I shared this in my last haul. So, And then I have this face wash from their Les Win Noir. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, line and then also a serum. I already have one of these but I actually gave it to my grandma because I was short on a Christmas gift so I just threw that in there so I'm really glad they sent me another one so I can use this one. Um, so yeah these two products and that is everything. So that is it for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll have another luxury haul up in the next few weeks and I think I also have a beauty favorites going up shortly after this video goes live as well. I'm not sure which one's going up first um, but I have those videos to look forward to as well if they are not already on my channel. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Again, I will have the 10% off code for Farfetch on the screen for you guys to use again as well. And all the products that I mentioned will be linked in the description box. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.